Let me ask you, do you like hot oatmeal on a nice summer day? Absolutely. Yeah. Not. <laughs> no, it's, it's not good. But, I mean, but oatmeal is really good for you, and it's something that I want, you know, my kids to eat. It's a good healthy breakfast before Through school. the summer, throughout the year. Um, it's something that men should be eating, you know, oatmeal. So there's a burger muesli, and it's made from a doctor in Switzerland years and years ago, and he uh, made this kind of very famous uh, breakfast, and it's called burger muesli. And it's a cold oatmeal. And so at first you go, yeah, that sounds really delicious, right? It's questionable. But you're going to see how delicious it is, and it's really easy to make. The, the key is to make it the day before. You can make a big batch of it, and then you can have it for days after. But you have to let it soak, and so I, I love it. So we'll start. It's, it's more of an assembly than a recipe. Cooking. So <clears throat> you start with some just rolled oats. It can be the instant. That's the easiest way, I think, to, to do it. So this happens to be almond milk, so I just like that. I like to throw in a lot of recipes, you'll see that they add the raisins later, but I like to add the raisins while it's soaking because it plumps up the raisins and it softens them up a little, kind of gives them a different flavor. So you have that milk, apple cider. I'm a huge fan of little nutmeg. I love cinnamon. Add a little lemon juice and then a little sweetener. I like to use honey, but you can use agave. You can use sugar if you like, but this for some reason, honey. Maple syrup. Make, absolutely. Yeah. But honey makes it seem healthier to me at least. So you mix it up and you just let it sit in your refrigerator overnight. These are some beautiful white nectarines. And what's going to happen is that is going to be our, uh, that's just going to be our topping for the, for the muesli when we start in the morning. And it's a nice, fresh way to eat the fruit. I'm cutting up in little cubes. So what happens is after a night in the fridge, you have this nice, excuse me, mm -hmm. nice, thick oatmeal-like. Beautiful. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's got the consistency of oatmeal. No cooking involved. You don't, nobody wants to be in the kitchen in the summer. And then what you do is, to that mix, you take an apple, and I use a box grater, but you can use whatever you want. But most people have a box grater, mm -hmm. that's why I'm using it. With skin and everything. So what's, what Dr. Berker was all about was uh, fiber, grains, nuts, oats. He was really healthy. So some fresh apple. Some apple. We'll take this off here. And you just kind of mix it in. Then you start adding all your fresh produce, any stone fruits, peaches, but really, nectarines. let's give nectarines a chance. Some plums, uh, some berries. I love blueberries, but you can add strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, anything you like. And then he was, like I said, he was a big fan of hazelnuts. So that's why I'm trying to keep it classic, but not everybody likes hazelnuts. I'm gonna just give them a little quick chop. So there's texture. So, you know, the oatmeal's creamy, the raisins are plumped up, the fruit is fresh, the, it's, there's some spice from the cinnamon, it's nice honey sweet, there's some fresh berries, give a pop, fresh nectarines, and then all of a sudden you have a quick dessert that can be out in two seconds. It's been done the, uh, the day before. So, you wanna give it a shot? Absolutely. Thank you. Sure. Great. Very fresh, lots of flavor, different textures. Yep. Delicious. It's good. So a quick way to get everything done, some burger muesli. You can find this and all of the recipes on our website. I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre. Let's dig in.